Well, we are going to talk about contest and how uh, contest can need to be adapted to our local context. Uh, we are coming from Wikimedia Argentina. Uh, Wikimedia Argentina is considered part of the global south. That means we have a different local context, completely different from everything that came from Europe. And we have to uh, approach this context differently. Um, thank you. Um, in the global south, we have some specificities uh, according to our context. What we understand for monuments, how many of you here have participated or have run we, uh, have run Wikilops monuments? Okay, so yeah, half of you, uh, but I'm sure you all know what Wikilops monument is. Um, how can we approach our local contents in Latin America when we don't really have what you understand as monuments? Uh, what happened in Wigme, Argentina is that for two years we run uh, in two, during two years we run Wikilops monuments and we, and we have the same picture year after year. We don't have that abroad, I mean that amount of monuments that you can picture in Europe. So what we do is to change our approach. Now we are not doing Wikilops monuments anymore. We are doing Wiki Tour. So. I can show you the, the, the web page. Uh, we do Wiki Tour in 2014. We made Wiki Tour in 2014, and we are releasing right now because we thought that there is a, a co um, there is a lot of, of a natural landscape that we can uh, upload to Wikimedia Commons. This is our contents, and it's outside the Wikipedia platform. Yeah, it's quite similar to what we, we understand as Wikilove's Earth, but we did it in advance. Uh, Wikitour was originally a proposal for Wikimedia Chile, so that's also, uh, we just copied the proposal, and that's what we do in, instead of doing Wikilove's Monuments in Wikimedia Argentina. Um, we have lack, lack of internet connection in the schools. That happens all the time, so when we, it's our time to come to, uh, to work with the students and teachers, we cannot do it in, in the classroom in Argentina. We have to do it outside the classroom. So we have to make them some proposals to work with Wikipedia outside. Um, also, we, have, we live in the, in the ninth largest country in, Latin, uh, in the world. I mean, it's very, every, every part of Argentina is very far away from the other part of Argentina. So what we do, or what we, um, yeah, what we do is to try to do some contents to involve students and teachers to explain us their uh, cultural heritage. For example, we did this contest also outside of Wikipedia that is called My Monuments. And the, the thing was, I mean, the main goal of the contest was that the students had to approach, uh, upload photos to Wikimedia Commons and also to position photos of from Wikimedia Commons to Wikipedia uh, from, to Wikipedia articles, and they could do it outside the school because normally in their house they have internet, but they don't have it in the schools. Yeah. So we made some some a couple of tutorials that we found from the foundation, and we made some uh, tutorials because these kids they had the first approach, so decided to uh, take pictures, they upload to Wikipedia, to Wikimedia Commons, to edit some articles, but always outside of Wikipedia platform because it's a nicer and kind approach to the young kids. This is our contest of last year called My Monuments. We work with UNESCO and this year, no, with Educar. And also we made a, another contest last year with a small kids from from that, uh, how it say in English? Yeah. Uh, we work with UNESCO as well, and we work with another contest that is called uh, Showing Us uh, Your Cultural Heritage. And this, well, this is a chol Cholila? Cholita. Cholita, which is a very typical uh, image from Argentina. And we receive images from all over Argentina uh, from the local context of the children and the, yeah, the, the, the little kids that that um, the little kids uh, that uh, of, of the side of the, uh, the country, not from Buenos Aires, 
they ha we have um, five categories, traditional exp and oral expressions, arts, uh, uses of rituals and holidays, knowledge uh, about the nature, uh, the nature and the universe, and uh, skills and, and traditional skills. This was a contest we made with, the, with UNESCO. We had children from 7 to 12 years old, from 13 to 18, af after 18 years old. Uh, the main goal of this, uh, this um, contest was to take picture of these categories, uh, and we decided to give a, a prize after, uh, to all the children who won the category. So it was a, a very nice uh, uh, contest that we participate around 2,000 uh, children. And we repeated this year with another topic about uh, environment. I mean, something important that we always do is uh, tell the children that they can use their, their cell phones. I mean, that's the main thing that they have, I mean, they are very used to use the cell phones to take pictures. We encourage them to use the cell phones to continue to take pictures, but not to what normally they do it. This is the contest we are ongoing today. It's about sustainable um, attitudes. You can see the logo. I mean, it's outside Wikipedia, but it's the double, double B of Wikipedia. Uh, that means that the, the students this year have to talk and show us pictures about environment and, and the natural reserves in Argentina. We have almost 200 natural reserves in Argentina, and less than the 50, and less than 50 have articles in Wikipedia. So what they have to do is to take pictures from these nat natural reserves, and they have to also edit the article with the with the teacher. I mean, they can do the um, the activity in groups in classroom, outside the classroom, and they and the teachers are involved. Every year we improve how we connect with the students. And this year, we are starting to do it more pedagogical and more dynamic. So we explain the rules through a video that we're going to show you. Bienvenidas. Queremos invitarte a participar del concurso de actitudes sostenibles. Para participar, tenés que sacar una fotografía que corresponda a los siguientes temas. Reciclaje, energías alternativas, conservación ambiental e identidad cultural y desarrollo. Estas imágenes tienen que ser de buena calidad. Después tenés que subirla a Wikimedia Commons. ¿Cómo se hace? Crea tu cuenta en Wikimedia Commons. Dale clic en subir una imagen. Completa la información de la imagen. Categorizala. No te olvides de agregarle la categoría Actitudes Sostenibles, así no perdemos tu foto en las millones de imágenes que tiene Commons. Una vez que sacaste la foto, y la subiste a Wikimedia Commons, tenés que agregarla a un artículo de Wikipedia. En un artículo largo puedes usar hasta cinco imágenes. En un artículo corto, hasta dos imágenes. Selecciona el artículo en el que van a trabajar. Cliquea en Editar. Cliquea en Insertar y luego en Multimedia. Busca la imagen que querés agregar al artículo y hace clic en ella. Dale clic en Usar esta imagen. Va a aparecer una nueva ventana que se llama Leyenda. Ahí agregás la referencia y cliqueas Insertar. Después, mandanos los resultados usando el formulario que hay en la página. ¡Buena suerte! <laughs> okay, yeah, the, 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 the woman in the leading role, the leading role is there. <laughs> yeah, um, that's the way we explain to the kids how to participate, because if we uh, we find out that if we write a lot, a lot of content, they are not going to read it. So this is more easy for them to understand. Um, yeah, now this is a, an ongoing project that we are doing now. We don't have uh, uh, concrete results, but from the last of the past uh, contest, at least two, uh, two, more than 2,000 uh, children were involved in our contest. And, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, I think more than 1,000 images have been uploaded. And last year, 3,000 articles were improved by the children and the teachers. And we received articles from teachers that they're working at home, even very, very far away from Argentina, up to the north, up to the south. I mean, uh, that's the way also we solve the problem of the distances in our country. Uh, we believe that the children, when you ask them to do something fun, 
outside the school that they maybe can't choose to do it, they do it and they enjoy it. And that's what we believe, I mean, that's what we think uh, we can do to work with, chil with children in the school, I mean, children who are in the school, but we don't have good connectivity, or we have a lack of connectivity as, we, as it happens to us in Argentina. Um, we think that uh, this uh, contest that we are doing in our own web page and not in Wikipedia, or also doing contests in Wikipedia, contest editions, but it's a way to engage to another community that they don't know that they can edit, so they can upload pictures, they can start with an educational program and try to, uh, and try to the school. And, after, and of course, we are doing uh, things with uh, people from more age, not only with children, and with all people. <laughs> yeah, with older people. Uh, well, that's all we just wanted to show you, uh, the different contests we're running in uh, Wikimedia Argentina. Um, that's the solution we found to the contests that they were not working in our context. I mean, it's so important that you take into account the context you are running a contest. Uh, for us, Wikilabs Monuments didn't work, and all the contests that were happening in Europe didn't work. So what we find in our context, uh, and what we built in our context are this kind of um, contents that we believe, and we, we know for the result we had, that they are working. Um, so thank you so much. I don't know if anybody has a question. Okay. Um. Silvia. Um. No. So um, I don't know how many installments of this contest have you done, but um, I'm curious to know how you choose the topics that you're going to, that, that are the themes of the contest. Is it within the schools or is it just you come up with it? Or, um? No, I mean, we normally, uh, we have partners for every contest. For example, in UNESCO, normally it refers to the year of the UNESCO year. I mean, last year was uh, the year of the immaterial uh, heritage. So that's, we focus the contest on that. This year is about environment and sustainability and natural reserves. And we focus on that. It's important also that they don't, I mean, the contests are not just about editing. For example, uh, we have a, an agreement with LAN. LAN is an airplane airline. And um, they are flying the kids to the natural reserves as a as a as a um, prize, yes, yeah, as, as a prize. And also, um, there are different schools that are very near to uh, uh, natural reserves that the UNESCO has paid for them to visit for the first time the natural reserves. So it's not just about editing; it's about doing other things apart of editing Wikipedia. And for example, for my monuments, um, it was because. We, we, uh, there, there were a lot of teachers that were telling us that they, they, don't fo they didn't find anything in Wikipedia about their local context. I mean, the, the small village they live in, um, the town. So we asked the, the, the students to use the cell phone not just to make selfies, but also to make pictures or to take pictures when they were going to the school, to the monuments they believe they have in their village city or whatever it was. So. I mean, it depends on the partner you have, but uh, yeah, we decided um, depending on the partner. That's not. And also, the content has to be valuable for Wikimedia Commons. So. Uh, just a very simple question yeah. uh, about this awesome uh, movie. It was really great. I love it. And my question is uh, if it was uh, created just by you or you hired some professional people to do this for you? Yeah, we, we, yeah, we have a kind of uh, group of friends. <laughs> uh, they are pretty good uh, um, with filmmakers. Yeah. Um, they love to help us. They help us to our documentary film. So when we had to design new ways to approach people, we decided to make audiovisual uh, pieces. And so we made the script, the whole script. We explained them, them uh, how to upload the picture and every part of the process, but they filled us. And well, our actress is our uh, education, education manager. manager. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and, uh, and it was just outside our office, so. It was <laughs> Yeah, in the streets, so nothing over there.
Hello, I'm from Greece. Uh, I was wondering, can you have this subtitled to be used by other communities? Yeah, I mean, everything can be used by other communities. We can subtitle in English, and also it's all over, of course, open source, that you can use the templates and you can just uh, 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 yeah, do it in your, in your uh, Wikipedias or in your countries or whatever you want. So yeah, we can share all the links with you. It's uh, yeah, it's perfect. Sorry, it's perfect. It's perfect. If someone subtitles into English of you, yeah, yeah, we then can we can take it and move it to other languages. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it's very quick and it's very useful. Very, very useful. Congratulations. It's very good. Thank you. So, yeah, we can translate it. No problem. It's easy. Any other picture? Okay. Thank you so much. Ivan de Toga.